you could fly Delta from the States to Europe by booking it through Virgin Atlantic, who's mm. a partner of Delta. So it might be 375,000 Delta miles, or I could book that same flight for 50,000 miles by booking it through Virgin Atlantic. What is the average uh, person doing wrong that you guys are doing right? Like, where is your, your mm -hmm. edge? Yeah, yeah, I think there's a lot of pieces I see, you know, we talk to people every single day of, you know, hey, what are you, you know, what are you currently doing? I yeah. think the biggest pieces, you know, we talked about the different types of points and miles. There's these transferable points that we're, that we're harping on, but then, you know, they've got airline miles, they've got hotel points. So I think the, the biggest thing is you see so many people swiping everything onto an airline card. Yeah. Or for example, a Delta card. So essentially what that's doing is, hey, we are earning something for every time we swipe, right? Yeah. But if I have a Delta card, all I'm earning is a Delta mile. Mm. I'm driving down the Delta lane. There's no turnoff. There's no other way to use it. I've got a single currency. Mm. Well, if I have a transferable point, let's say I've got you know, an Amex card. I'm earning Amex membership reward points. Let's just say there was a weird scenario where it made sense to actually transfer my Amex to Delta. You could do that. Or now I'm driving down the Amex lane and I can take 20 other different routes of with course. these points. So I think, you know, well, you, you have more options with the points, but also does Delta then not give you as much for your points because they realize there's only one avenue you can go down? Well, and so that's the next kind of layer. So with all these you know, transfer partners, the airlines, the hotels, and don't think of it as the airline you're flying. Think of it as the airline's award chart, mm. okay? All of them are going to be unique in how they go about pricing their, say, hey, it's this many points for this kind of flight or this many points here. The way that Delta prices all of their you know, flights for miles they charge an insane amount of points. I and mean, we're talking like several hundred thousand miles to go business class to Europe. Mm. Well, you could fly Delta from the States to Europe by booking it through Virgin Atlantic, who's mm. a partner of Delta. So it might be 375,000 Delta miles, or I could book that same flight for 50,000 miles by booking it through Virgin Atlantic and pulling my Amex points over there. So I'd, have, I'd be on my Amex website and I would go into what you said, the loyalty program specifically for Delta, mm -hmm. or in this case, you said Virgin Atlantic. They're, they're, mm -hmm. they're, I didn't know, did Delta buy Virgin from, so from there's Branson? There's kind of like a, I'll try to say that in the simplest way, but you know, there's the partners that these banks have. Yeah. So the you know Amex, Chase, they've got all these airline partnerships. Yeah. The second layer to this, and like I said, there's lots, We've got the airline alliances. Mm. So kind of going back to like Eli's scenario where he's talking about American Airlines and British Airways. We can't transfer Amex or Chase to American Airlines because they're not partners. Yeah. We can transfer them to British Airways. Got it. British Airways is part of the One World Alliance with American, Qatar, Cathay Pacific. So what that means is you can basically book a flight on any of those partner airlines. With your British Airway miles. Exactly. Got it. So it's kind of like a second tier of partnerships. You know what this reminds me of is uh, when you use a VPN to change your location and you get different prices on uh, Tamu and what's the other place called? Uh, Wish. Yeah. And, and sometimes mm -hmm. on Amazon like or uh, audible.com, there are certain books that are not licensed to sell in certain countries like in the United oh. States, but they'll, they'll lead license in other countries. Mm. And if you set your VPN to another country, you get a different discount. This kind of feels like the same thing. Instead of doing that, you're just not going to America and you're doing British Airways. Uh, mm -hmm. Are there any other, what, what are the other big alliances? Like if I wanted, so my family's from Colombia. If I want to go to Avianca, mm -hmm. right, uh, in Colombia, is are they partners with anyone? Yeah. Yeah. So that's kind of like that next piece. So whether it's Amex Chase, we're gonna have multiple avenues to mm -hmm. book this Avianca flight, right? Yeah. So, you know, Avianca is a direct partner with Amex. Okay. So if I find a flight that's available on Avianca, I could pull my points right to Avianca. But Air Canada is also part of the Star Alliance. Mm -hmm. They might price that exact same flight cheaper than Avianca. Mm. So there's that next layer of not only, you know, can I transfer my points, but hey, where's the best place to send them? Because in a lot of scenarios, there's gonna be multiple airline programs to actually book this through. So I would say just off the top of my head, you would be able to book a flight down there through Air Canada, mm. I think cheaper than Avianca, just because of how they price those flights. So Got it's it. kind of like there's a second, let's do this, the more, the more layers you peel back on the redeeming side, the more value that can essentially be Un uh, unlocked. Got it. Got it. So you might jump on a, a you know, uh, Air Canada, Vancouver to Denver. You jump in on Denver and go back to Bogota. Well, so like I said, so don't think of it as um, the airline you're actually going to fly. You know, okay. we're really just worried about the airline program. So I'm Got saying it. Air Canada, 
Eli's saying British Airways, but we're going to be flying on their partner. Yeah, we're going to be flying on it. Avianca. So just like Alaska Airlines is now part of Virgin and stuff exactly. like that. Okay, got mm-hmm. it. Exactly. Yeah. So he said, so don't, when you hear some of these airlines, don't think of it as, I mean, most of my flights, I rarely am actually flying the airline that I'm booking, you know, through. So I'm got rarely it. flying United and booking through United. It might be I'm flying United, but I booked through Air Canada or I'm flying American Airlines booked through British Airways. Yeah. So that piece right there, that that helps further increase the value and, and really max out uh, these points.